Here are my four tomato plants. It's time to change the nutrients. Well, I'll open up the reservoir here so you can see what's inside. And as you can see, there's perfectly white, healthy tomato roots. The nutrient solution is bubbling quite well, and the height is just right. But now it's time to change it. Now I'm going to drain the water out of the reservoir, and I'll do this in fast forward so you don't have to get bored while watching this. To see how I made this drain for my DWC reservoir, watch my previous video on the construction of the DWC reservoir. Now there's only a small amount of water left in here. You can see it's been drained almost completely. So now it's time to prepare the reservoir to get some new water in it. If you watch some of my past videos on creating uh, the reservoir and the reservoir lid, you'll see how I created this uh, top fill station here. The only thing differently I've done that's not listed in the video is add this 2 inch PVC pipe here to which I have cut a 2 inch hole in as well. I actually use this for my humidifier, but I can take it out and use it perfectly here to help me fill up the water. Again, we'll fast forward because this part's boring. Now that the water level is right, I'll remove the tube to go ahead and get ready to put in my nutrients. Alright, so now I want to check what the pH is of the water before I start putting the nutrients in, and also uh, what the parts per million for the water is before I put the nutrients in. pH is about 7.7. So we're starting from about 230 just from our tap water. I'm preparing my tomatoes for flowering, so I'm going to follow the directions on the back of these products um, that teach us uh, how best to nourish the plant for flowering, which will primarily be uh, this one here and this here. Alright, and time for the final one. Now I'm going to test the parts per million after I've put in the uh, nutrients. Uh, it's 1,190, uh, which is perfect. And 
and even though I'll have to wait a little while to uh, test the pH, I'm going to test it now just to kind of get a ballpark of where I'm at, and then later on add some pH up or down depending on what I need. Six point five. 